confirmation uh, made by Ryan Payne, uh, one of the main militia guys who is down there. Uh, he says that the uh, confiscation of weapons is happening uh, to people who are coming in. So that has been confirmed? That has been confirmed by Ryan Payne on the ground. His, uh, his brother-in-law is the one who originally reported it, and he confirmed it. That'd be nice if they could get a live feed going up there. Yeah, it would. If, uh, in my, I don't know if y'all want to like this page, but it's, it, it's a Bondi Branch page. Um, you can write this down. I'm going to say it in um, uh, alphabet. <clears throat> uh, Foxtrot, Alpha, Charlie, Echo, Bravo, Oscar, Oscar, Kilo. Um, dot Charlie Oscar Mike Colin Shaz Bundy Ranch Hey, is anybody on? Yes, sir. Hey, this is uh, Brian. I'm back on. All right, Brian. Obviously, we have we have confirmed that uh, law enforcement is uh, confiscating guns. No shit. Yeah, I got confirmation uh, from Ryan Payne. He's on the ground there. His, wow. his uh, brother-in-law. Yeah, his brother-in-law was the one who originally made the uh, made the discovery and announcement, and he confirmed it shortly afterwards. No shit. Mm-hmm. Now, is that before they get on the property, or if they're already on the property? Uh, that's before you get on the property. They're actually they're pulling people over, and and uh, if they see like, any firearms or whatnot, then they're confiscating. Apparently. Wow. Yeah. That that's not gonna fare very well. No, it's not. <laughs> that's only gonna that's only inflaming the fucking circumstances here. That's putting gasoline on the fire. Oh, my God. Anybody got any confirmation that the sheriff's made it yet? Are you talking about the Clark County Sheriff? Uh, well, him or uh, Sheriff Max should have been there by now. Uh, let me check. Hello. Anybody there? Yeah. Oh, what's up? 
Hello? Yeah, we're still here, man. Oh. John Dossel from Ohio. Uh, Listen to the conference a little bit last night. Didn't get a chance to to uh, chime in at all, but uh, was wondering if anybody's got any la- up to date information. That's what we're working on right now, man. We wanted to leave this uh, line of communication open for people to, you know, get an idea of what's going on. Uh, we've got someone right now who's in contact with some people, boots in the ground. Um, we're just trying to get more data, so feel free to ask your question because I believe that gentleman's talking to someone that's there right now. All right. Um, we've got a couple different groups here that are um, still waiting, um, waiting to see what's going on. And, and this is the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana area, right down by Cincinnati. Michael. Um, and what we're doing is is when one of us, when when one of the guys, one of the commanders decides to go, because we're all brothers in this area, um, everybody else is going to follow. Um, so if that needed, then uh, that's something we have planned. I'm just not sure where everything's at out there yet, as far yeah, as we're not what's sure. needed and what's not. Um. I believe I was told Arizona was on their way. And I think maybe Rick is sending some people from Texas. Um, so I'm not sure what all's involved, you know, what all's on the way yet, how much is still needed. Um, I know I'm willing to go. Yeah, we're not exactly talking to the what? So we're not exactly positive either. We're waiting for some more boots on the ground to chime in. We heard uh, just moments ago that we were told that people heading in, especially out of staters, I assume, uh, our guns are being confiscated before they even make it to the ranch. Yeah, that was confirmed by Ryan Payne, who's actually on the ground there. Who, who's confiscating the guns? The state troopers, the sheriff's department, does anybody know that? Uh, it's not saying uh, what law enforcement. I'm assuming it's the uh, it's either the uh, the marshals that are there and or the BLM. Or a combination of both, but I'm going to presume it's probably BLM. Yeah. Wouldn't they have to quarantine that off and, and consider it to be a uh, uh, martial law in order to confiscate people's guns as they travel? You would think, man, it came up yesterday that it's an undeclared soft martial law at this point. Well, there's ways of getting that, getting around that, I imagine. Um, it's good It's good information to know before heading that way, though, that that's a possibility. Yeah. And that possibility existed anyway, so. Yeah. But now that you know, the reality and you know how to plan for it. Yeah. You know, if people are still heading down there, they might want to caravan and, you know, send people as protesters at first and just keep the munitions and whatnot in one vehicle that doesn't quite come in with that parameter. Yeah. Well, that's a, yeah, that's like a I said, there, there are ways holding. around there. Um, right now, we're set up with... Um, uh, Champaign County, um, OVM out of West Virginia, um, Sandman, uh, Tony running the Sentinels out of Indiana, um, possibly MVM, the Miami Valley here in Dayton. Um, we all work together, uh, train together. Uh, so if one if one commander says, "Hey, this is it," you know, we need to roll. Um, you know, that was set up. We had that in place when that whole Connecticut garbage went down. Um, so if we need to roll that direction, now it's going to take us some time. I think the last time I map quested, it was like 31 hours uh, travel time from our location to there, which is going to put us behind. I mean, you know, we don't want to get there after all hell's broken loose because we're going to be late. 
Um, but we also don't want to get there and uh, um, cause any friction or, you know, add fuel to a fire. So it's still being kicked around by quite a few. Um, what time to roll and what information is needed in order to do that. We've already made preparations as far as securing our own AO and leaving those people behind to do that. Um, but we do have willing members ready to head out in the caravan that direction. You're pretty much in the same states as, as many other states, bro. That's kind of why we have this conference call to get in touch with boots on the ground. Um, you know, from this perspective, as of now, if they're confiscating guns from the people that are already there, really? kind of better off holding back for the moment and, uh, you know, kind of hanging on because if that huh. keeps breaking loose and it starts to get violent, at least more people can show up. And if, you know, at that point they try to take your guns, obviously uh, it's game game. We on. have confirmation of that, though, that they were confiscated. We have confirmation from boots on the ground that they've confiscated guns from people that are there. Uh, I'm driving right now, so I don't have the control panel, but there was a gentleman that was just on this call. If he's still there, feel free to speak yeah. up. But, uh, uh, Ryan Payne from Operation Mutual Aid, uh, his brother-in-law made the initial report about four hours ago, and there, uh, Ryan Payne actually uh, confirmed this himself. I'll go ahead and read the post. Ryan Payne, one of the main militia members who has been there protecting Cliven and, and the Bundy Ranch, has reported that it was his brother-in-law who reported the confiscation of weapons. This has been confirmed by militia on the ground. Hmm. And that's that's about that's basically the gist of the, uh, of the thing. All the rest of it says, if you if you have any more information, please uh, forward it to such and such, and such person. That's incredible that they... That they could confiscate weapons from militia without a shot being fired. Yeah, I don't um, I, John Constitution, uh, American Spartans, local Kentucky, uh, I kind of find that hard to believe myself. Uh, you got to watch that disinformation coming out on that. Yeah, that's what I'm, I, I, what I'm concerned about because just among the folks that I know, I, I would... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say I, now, you're to not fathom gonna somebody me. confiscating their weapons. You're not going to confiscate my weapon from anybody in my group, and anybody else that we're connected with is not giving up anything. No, I. That's the last thing in the world that you do is give your weapon up. That's just yeah. that's surrender. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Also, also, if I can interject something too, uh, a lot of a lot of us are on Facebook, and I see a lot of us have a lot of mutual friends. Uh, Tim Law, Western Kansas Militia. Yeah. Everybody's familiar with him. I know Tim. Okay, yeah, I, I uh, he he has posted out just in case anybody doesn't know. He has posted out uh, that you know what I'm saying he will give everybody you know what I'm saying a, uh, a rest area. You know what I'm saying once you're on the way out that way, everybody's got 36 hour drive heading from this end of town. Right. Uh, you know, you get in contact with him and he'll give you personal information, coordinates to get to his location to rest, restock, whatever you need to do uh, before you make your way out that way. If, if, you know what I'm saying, like I said, the call comes out from this end of the country to head that way. Uh, I don't know who was speaking a minute ago. I just uh, come back in the house. I've been on mute this whole time, but I've been here since the beginning. Uh, who was just speaking in this area that's over here that was talking about Sandman just a minute ago? Uh, John Dostal, here in Ohio. John who? Dostal, D-O-S-T-A-L. Dostal. Okay. Yep. Uh, you, you, was you uh, present at the uh, meeting that we had up in the uh, Bass Pro Shop just uh, not two weeks ago? Yes, sir, I was. I was sitting up on the stage. Okay, all right. My, my uh, CO, Danny Lively, was there. Had American Spartan tattooed right on his neck. You can uh, recall who I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah, I remember meeting him, yeah. Okay. I think so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like that's, um, that's who we, rep- that's who we, that's who we are. Uh Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh that that's our group here out of Louisville, Kentucky. Uh he he actually just left out of here because, you know, he's gonna get back to family matters and whatnot. But uh I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on this line the rest of the night. Uh tomorrow everything that's going on. Uh as far as individuals in this area and groups in this area. Uh my contact information, John Q Constitution, uh three capital I's after that. You can you can hit me on Facebook. 
uh, we can we can go from there and confirm who each other are. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, just, let uh, me get a pen, let me get a pencil real quick. I need to write this down. I'm not even by a computer. Um, but were you at? I was, the, on, uh, I was on here last night. So I mean, with, with the first. Yeah, I was had, too. Okay. About, about one o'clock in the morning, though. Yeah, I was on here. Um, I was on here. I listened for a long time before I even said anything because I want to see the nature of what was going on. You're John. John Q. It? Constitution. John Q. Constitution. Are you the uh, the guy from the Eagles Club or something like that? No, no Eagles. No. There was another. There was a gentleman on last night. I was listening to. Uh, that was uh, you're talking about the uh, riders from Indiana. Up in Indianapolis. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, Dom um, is also on here. There's, we've got more. Uh, we've got several people from the area uh, in on this conference call. Yeah, Tony in the um, in the Ohio Alliance. Um, Sandman's in there, and so is uh, so is Valentine. Yeah. And um, as they go, so do we go, and and vice versa. We all cover each other's back, and we don't let. None of us, um, uh, yeah. none of us let a brother go without some support, you know. Exactly. Um, uh, the point, uh, one of the points I made last night, uh, if you were around, we was on here till three in the morning, I think it was. But one of the points I made last night, <clears throat> we all have, we all have our areas. You know what I'm saying? We all have our go-to spots. You know what I'm saying? And, and in the event that something does, you know what I'm saying, catastrophic st- does start to happen. You know, like I said, just keep in mind, keep a cool head. Get your families, you know what I'm saying, to your safe zone. Uh, and don't, you know what I'm saying, don't take everybody with you. We discussed last night with this being a draw-out operation, you know what I'm saying, put on by the feds, you know what I'm saying, to get as many people as they can out, disarm or even kill, you know. Uh, I mean, you, you're taking East Coast people and move them to the West Coast, you know what I'm saying, that kind of that kind of goes against, uh, you know. Yeah. You know, no, you don't, you don't leave your own, you don't leave your AO un, unprotected. No, and um, and a lot of people, a lot, you know, several people on here last night was was jumping that gun and saying, you know, we all need to move. Everybody needs to move, you know, and you know. No, because there's there's shit storms everywhere. They're in Arkansas now. They're down by the Red River in Texas. I mean, they're sh- they're, they're having some problem in Oklahoma. I mean, there's they're just having uh, problems everywhere. So you can't yeah, leave. Mexico's you can't place. concentrate everybody in one spot. Um, that's just suicidal anyway. Any military yeah. man would tell you you don't put all your troops in one basket. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, I never did serve in the military. Like I said, I'm, I run a civilian militia. You know, like I said, I've spent the last five, uh, almost six years now <clears throat> in this movement. Like I said, I was brought in by Ohio Valley Freedom Fighters. Uh, so, you know. Like yeah, they've been around for a long time. Yeah, they have Ohio Valley Freedom. And actually, they're getting going again. I mean, they were up there. They were represented uh, at that meeting over in Indiana. Yeah, they were. Uh, yeah, they so, were. Yeah. Uh, like I said, that, you know, there was, there was some issues coming out of that. That's how American Spartans was born. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of us from, from that group, you know what I'm saying, didn't want to see it fall apart. And all the work that we put into it, you know, it's not, you know, we're not going to let it go by the wayside. No, in you fact, know. there was a, there was a large uh, showing of the uh, – I noticed a lot of people when they were introducing themselves said uh, uh, former Ohio Valley Freedom Fighter, former, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah, you, former, you uh, and, and a lot of us carry that. I mean, well, you know, we put it out there proud, you know. The Ohio mm-hmm. Valley Freedom Fighters, uh, you know, like I said, been around a long time. The Kentucky Miniman, you know, uh, KMR, that whole that whole section down that way. <laughs> you know, well, I think that the the um as far as Indiana, um, Ohio and Kentucky and, and uh Kentucky go, it's a pretty tight group. I think that we got yep. um I don't think there's anything that could happen in Kentucky that everybody, all of our guys from Ohio wouldn't move down for. Oh yeah. Um, I mean I've I've had dealings with uh with some guys up there in in, in Ohio. I mean, we went on a trip just to get a uh, seventeen foot military G P tent, you know. <laughs> You know, just a, yeah. just a just a face to face. You know what I'm saying? And 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 trade supplies. You know, so but we yeah. we've all got to stay connected. Like I said, and, and and my point is, and I'll stress it several times throughout the night when more people come on, is just to stay level headed. You know, don't don't just you know what I'm saying grab your gun and go. You know, have a have a have a plan ready. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you know, if, if you encounter contact, I mean, they might shut the road down. You know what I'm saying? If you've got a guy 50 miles behind you, you know what I'm saying? You can make contact. Hey. 
you know, we've, we've got issues up here. You know what I'm saying? You know, you get your guys behind you to stop. You know I mean? It's just basic, basic military strategy. I mean, they're going to run it on us. And, you know what I'm saying? And guerrilla, guerrilla tactics will only take you so far against an uh, against a, a unlimited force. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, no, just, everybody's got to go at it with a clear head. And, uh, yeah. And there's there's a lot of good guys in this. Uh, there's a lot of good guys in the whole organization, um, and we've got plenty of ex-military. We've got you know military that are still active, um, police officers, ex-police officers. Um, you know, just a lot of people have woken up over the last few years and um, want their families to be safe. And a lot of guys that are oath keepers, and you know, they might they might have a government job, they might you know, work for ICE or something else like that, but they're still part of a group and they're still saying, hey, you know what, when shit hits the fan, I know, I'm, I believe in the Constitution, I want my family to be safe, I'm not going to just follow orders. I mean, look at how well those guys followed orders when Katrina hit, you know? Yeah. they just like, screw it, I'm not going to work, I'm not going in there and enforcing stuff, i got a family to take care of. Yeah. Um, and, and they do. You know, but... You get the you get the thugs out there. You get the you get the hired guns, the uh, the Blackwater type, and, and and you know we've all run across these idiots. Um, some of the government agent guys that you know um, just think they're like the same guys that you see down at the gym. You know, they're, hey, they're the same guys. Something. They're the same guys that when and, you have open invites for training show up and they know more than everybody right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, and 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 you know they're just they all think they're Rambo. Um, those yeah. are the idiots that they're putting out there. Uh, that the government puts out there that thinks they can do no wrong because they got the government behind them. And those are the types that go, oh, well, I'm just following orders. But, you know, you see how well that worked for, like, the Nazi concentration guards. Oh, well, yeah. we were just following orders. Yeah, well, and, and, and I had a couple of them out here earlier, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, everybody left out. Uh, but we were we were discussing that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the Nazis, you know what I'm saying? The, the Jews didn't think that would happen. They didn't think they'd be confiscated and rounded up like that. The American Indians, you know what I'm saying, the Native Americans, they didn't think they'd be rounded up like that. Uh, the yep. Spaniards down in South America, they didn't think they'd be rounded up and killed off. You know, right. And the history repeats itself. And those of us that learn from history are doomed to watch those who didn't learn fail. You know, it just, it just amazes me how many people are still asleep. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people waking up, and you're absolutely right about that. A lot of people waking up. Uh, you know, I've got contacts, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you can look at my Facebook page, and contacts, yeah, after contact, after contact, and this is the second one I've had to run, because uh, my first one got shut down, my first Constitution page got shut down, the second one I've had to run, I'm I'm almost back up to where I was, you know what I'm saying, as a number of people that, you know what I'm saying, are, are just aware, and just sharing that information, you know what I'm saying, that's out there, and, you know, I mean, like last night I brought the Georgia Guidestones, a lot of people didn't... Uh, you know, had never, you know what I'm saying, never even heard of the Georgia Guidestones. And if anybody listening hasn't heard of them, I suggest you just go on Google or Bing and, and look at it. I mean, they laid it out in granite back in the 70s of, of their plan. You know what I'm saying? They put it in granite. It's massive blocks. And they're telling you they're going to exterminate the world. 90% of the population. Um, yeah, I sent you, I just sent you a, a request, a friend request. So. I, I, I accept that one. But anyway, I got to get to making supper. Um, I just want to let you know that um, there's commanders in our area in the tri-state area that are on the same page. And if uh, you know we get the information that we need to roll, then we have we have adequate um, people to send, willing to willing to go, um, and still be able to keep our AO safe. So um, if that's something that comes up, because you know we've already discussed the possibility of okay, so. Uh, if if there is a victory in uh, uh, Nevada, um, maybe that's not it. Maybe you don't. We don't come home. Maybe we go to Texas and then, or we go to Oklahoma or wherever. You know, that's being pushed um, and take care of this garbage all at one time. Um, at least where we have the numbers or the guys that are willing to be out there and do it. Um, so those who are willing to go and various groups have different numbers that'll go. Um, I don't hold anything against anybody that's staying back. In fact, we need people to stay back. Um, some guys have families or jobs they'll lose. Um, I I run a company, so I have people that can take care of that. Uh, while I'm gone, you know, my kids are all grown and out. 
Um, I'm divorced, so I really got, uh, you know, no excuse not to be there. Yeah. Um, and I'll, and confirm, uh, I'll confirm. I'll confirm your 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 statement there that you just had that, that people this way in this in this AO are are ready to roll. I mean, you know, say it won't take nothing but a phone call from a higher command. And yeah. like I said, I, I will confirm that American Spartan put the name on the line. Uh, but I, on the I'm, I'm just the opposite of that with you though. I'm divorced, single dad. You know what I'm saying? I've got three kids with me. You know what I'm saying? I can't roll out, and I'm, I secure the AO. You know? Yeah, and we need we need leaders up front. We need leaders back here because um, if, if it it could spread nationwide, a brush fire, um, and you don't want to be caught with your pants down. So yeah, you know you get caught on the highway. Like I said, and that's why I put Tim Law back out there. Like I said, I've been in contact with him for a couple years now. Uh, you know he. Uh, like I said, if you're not if you're not in contact with him, get in contact with him, and then put put you know the Constitution name out there, Spartan name out there. Uh, yeah, he, he's like a said, friend he, of mine. He's, he got a, he's got a safe haven for travel. You know what I'm saying? He's even put a map up earlier. You know what I'm saying? You're most outright route out that way. All right, I appreciate it. All right, well, um, I'll try to stop in periodically on this line um, and try to keep up to date. And I'm sure some of the other guys will too. All right. Uh, I, I plan good on, talking plan to you, John. At least on at least on mute. You know what I'm saying for the duration. So. All right. Like I said, if good I get any confirmation, I get any confirmation. I send it up to my guys, and then we send it out. So, you're in the loop, brother. Good, good, good. Um, I'll do the same. Any info that we get here, I'll pass on. All right. And don't don't believe anything unless it comes from confirmed. You know what I'm saying? Confirmed. Oh no, yeah. There's anybody. there's more bullshit out there than there is truth. Um, you learn that real quick. <laughs> you got to vet everything that you come across. So, um, all right, gentlemen, you have a good night. And I'll talk to you soon. Well, you heard the last statement right there. Got to yeah. confirm everything, or else there's bullshit. It's exactly right. Exactly right. Uh, I'm going to go on mute for a few minutes, unless anybody's got a question or anything. Uh, but I will be on the line monitoring. All right, we got uh, a little over a dozen people on this call right now. Uh, feel free to invite more people if you want to. Um, I'm just kind of keeping quiet, letting you guys talk. That makes for you know a good speech. I don't have too much more to say than what I said yesterday. Um, you know, to mute yourself out, you can press star six. So if you've got feedback coming in, uh, we don't have to mute you up. If I have to mute you up, you can't get back in unless you call back. So uh, don't take it personally. If you do get muted out, it's only because uh, we're getting a lot of feedback off your uh, off your line or extension or whatever you're using to chime in. Uh, if you have the capability, send some text messages, emails. Feel free to invite people from Facebook. The uh, same dial-in number and participant code that you use to get in here. Um, and then to remind you guys, if you get a chance. Um, there's a playback number for yesterday's call, which went to about six hours, which was great. Uh, same prefix, same area code, ending in 1399. And to hear that again, it would be uh, pound 9794, and then pound again to actually uh, hear the call from yesterday. It's pretty extensive, but a lot of good data and information came on. And uh, as of right now, you know, we're still trying to get people there uh, that are there that are boots in the ground to confirm some of what we're hearing right now. We were hoping uh, there would be more sheriff activity by now. We're hoping that uh, some of the people that are headed there would actually chime in by now. Uh, we've only had a couple, so we're hoping for a lot more. Um, I have to break out of this call for a minute and actually call my person that was heading there yesterday. I'm hoping they're there now. Maybe I can scoot him in on this call and uh, see if we can get some more verifications. But uh, in between now and the next you know, half hour, try to get some more people in here. I know we're getting into the night now where more people are free and off of work. So I'm hoping to see uh, as many, if not more, people than we saw yesterday uh, when we got uh, past 120 people on this call. Uh, again, right now we're at about a dozen. So I'm going to chime out, and I should be back in a couple minutes. I'm still monitoring uh, the control panel for my uh, computer, but. Uh, I'm going to chime out for about 10 minutes and then I'll be right back. I'm going to put it on my uh, If everybody wants to give a roll call, uh, again, John Constitution, American Spartans, Louisville, Kentucky.
All right, this is Don Brienzi from Corden, Indiana, Yellow Jacket Militia. Uh, no one, no one, Mississippi Militia. Boyd Kleppinger, Virginia Militia. Rooster. Hey everybody, this is Dom. I'm going to be stepping away for just a couple minutes. conference call like that as well. Who else is first time? <laughs>
and we won't have to be there. Mm-hmm. 